Merry Christmas. How are you all? Uh, today has been a really good Christmas uh, for myself today. Uh, spent the day down in Montgomery with my mum and my brother. Had a really good day, some delicious food. Uh, watched some decent Christmas TV today. And it was a good day, to be honest. And at the moment, I'm back home in Dorney and trying a couple of beers that my that my dad and my stepmom gave me a few days ago. And yeah, I've already talked about one beer in a previous video this evening. And at the moment, I'm going to try another beer. This one called Cumberland. I don't think I've seen this beer before. Uh, let's see. I think Jennings. Jennings is a brewery who made this beer. Let's see what it says on the back. Uh, Cumberland, Jennings number one golden beer. Yeah, so Jennings is the brewery who made this. So yeah. Cumberland. Jennings number one golden beer acknowledges the rich heritage and tradition of the area but its deep refreshing flavour is still very much in line with the contemporary tastes with contemporary tastes. A supremely refreshing beer using carefully selected English hop varieties that are added at two points in the brewing process to give this beer its unique characteristics and um, there's a website to visit this one uh, www.jenningsbrewery.co.uk yeah, uh, if you check the description box below this video I'll have that website written, written down in there for anyone who's interested and yeah this is a uh, 500 ml, 500 milliliter bottle, and this beer is 4.0 ABV, 4% strong. Yeah, it's not too bad. Seems like a good thing. I did. I have kept this beer in the fridge since about this time last night, because to be honest, I prefer drinking cold beer. Even if it's ale, uh, it improves the taste and it improves the flavour if I uh, have it chilled. And it's worth the wait, so yeah. Gonna open the bottle. Got a fresh glass from last time. Let's uh, pour it out and see what it looks like. That's a nice looking beer, to be honest here. Yeah. Looks nice stuff. I like my golden beers, to be honest. When it comes to ale, when it comes to ale, I do like golden and pale ales. So let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. That is nice. It's really nice and crisp. Nice crispness going on. Hmm, do you like that one? Let's have a cup of bottle. Yeah, Cumberland. So, uh, Castle Brewery, Lake District, established 1828. Right, so it's from the Lake District, obviously. Castle Brewery, established 1828. Nice one. I don't think I've seen this beer before. I've, I don't remember, recognise the brewery or anything. But this is another new beer I've had. 
Yeah, I think I like this beer. It's not too bad. Might be worth having again at some point in the future. And 4% strong. 4% ABV. Hmm. So, yeah. Hang on a minute. Yeah, it's very nice, very crisp. Yeah. I think this would be another beer worth trying again, to be honest, yeah. Yeah. I like this one. Um, it's a good beer, but I think I prefer the beer I had earlier on. A fire catcher. Yeah. The beer I had earlier on, the fire catcher, is fantastic beer. But I think that one tastes nicer than the Cumberland. I mean don't get me wrong, the Cumberland is nice. It's got a nice crisp, clean, refreshingness going on, which is something I like, something I appreciate. Uh but the fire catcher has got a bit more flavour going on. But both are really good beers, really nice beers, so... Mm. Yeah, but the Cumberland, I like it. Might be worth trying again sometime in the future. Yeah, nice one. See so, yeah. On that note, I'm going to finish this video here. Thank you everyone for watching this, and if you're the kind of person interested in beer, and especially interested in ales, uh, Cumberland might be worth you trying at some point, so if, if you can find it in your local area that is. But yeah, nice one. Take care everyone, be safe. Uh, I hope everyone's had a fantastic Christmas day today, uh, and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, and I'll see you all soon in the next video. Take care and goodbye.